My name is Roberto Darae and I'm the CEO of Dolphin Dynamics. I started in the travel industry. In fact, I started tourism and travel management and initially I started working in a, um, I, I worked for a little bit in a hotel company and then in a travel agency. Uh, when one day they installed um, a computer on my desk, um, at the time it was Sabre, just entering the um, a European market. Um, and that's when I made the jump on the technology side. Um, uh, I was shortly after I was actually recruited by Sabre and um, so I started there in the travel technology and I've always since then I've been in, in the travel technology space um, which then culminated into me starting, um, starting the business. The business started from an idea that I had um, while I was working on a couple of projects uh, at, at, um, at a previous company. Um, but it wasn't until speaking to a friend, uh, he told me, well, actually starting a business is not as difficult as you think. If you want some help, I can help you out with the administration side of things. Um, and that's what kind of put the idea in, in my head that maybe there was an opportunity. Um, and the time felt right about 15 years ago. Um, and um, at that point, I found a bit of financing um, and started the business from, from very small. Um, then obviously, you know, we, we were on to where we are today. Um, but it was um, something that really I, I didn't initially expect uh, I would have done one day to start a business. Um, I just, uh, just out of a conversation, um, could put the idea in my mind and then I thought, why not? It was very hard at the beginning, especially. Um, it, it always takes a lot longer than you think. Um, and in terms of time and money and investment and all of those things. Um, but it's been, been very rewarding. Uh, it's definitely um, been fun and it continues to be fun to, to run a business. We are a travel technology company that specializes in solutions for uh, the travel industry. The clients that we service uh, today um, are very varied actually. Um, one of the characteristics of what we do is that, that we operate across the entire industry from the travel agency side to the tour operator side to corporate travel, leisure travel, um, online. We have several customers on, on the online space. So um, we have a quite a wide um, experience um, in, in the market, although we very much focus on the distribution side, um, uh, obviously. Um, not necessarily the, 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 the supplier side. Um, and with uh, customers we offer pretty much everything from um, online booking engines to back office accounting, automation, CRM systems, um, website management systems. In fact, um, another characteristic I would say of our offering is this end-to-end -end, um, integration of the process from sourcing the product to selling the product to collecting money from the client, um, paying the supplier, um, you know, having um, all the MI that relates to those transactions and, and everything. Rather than having multiple systems doing multiple things, um, here is a single platform that allows them to perform everything on, on a single system. Um, it, it is our intention to continue the evolution that we already started uh, towards the tour operator market. Um, that has already been the focus of the last three years uh, and we see that to continue to be the focus of the next uh, three to four years. Um, we're already um, uh, making big inroads in that, in that space and um, starting to become established. So the tour operator space is definitely an interesting um, uh, area for us that we wanted to, um, uh, to get into uh, because um, in, in, from where we sit, we see the industry um, evolving much more in that direction rather than the more kind of traditional uh, retailer. Um, even, the, even the traditional retailer is getting in fact, much more sophisticated and the type of systems that they require is, um, is getting more, uh, more complex. So in the short term, uh, we'll continue to evolve um, and, f and focus on the tour operator space. Over the longer term, uh, actually, uh, I think retail will become again uh, very interesting. And one of the trends that we see and one of the things that, that we want to do is bring more uh, sophisticated retailing technology into the travel space. Uh, if you look at some of the other industries, uh, they're spending a lot of money and research into um, retailing and becoming more of retailers and, and retailing technologies. Um, I think in the travel space, there's not a lot 
um, there is a non big opportunity to expand in that um, in that area. Um, it's a little bit early, probably still, for that to be um, kind of a mass market uh, requirement. So that's why we see that more of like a four to five year um, evolution where new technology will need to come into that space as well. So that, that's kind of our, the second step that, that, that we see um, in our business. The trend that is, the, the most immediate trend um, is the trend of um, specialization. Um, our customers tend to be much more specialized than they used to be, um, they, either specializing by either desti specific destinations or by customer group. So there's definitely much more attention and much more focus on a specific segment. Um, the other trend that we see is very much around consolidation. Um, it's, it's very tough out there. It's very difficult to run as a single standalone business uh, when you're trying to sell travel products. Um, so there's definitely a, um, a lot of consolidation going on, which is where Fortunately for us, a lot of the opportunity comes because as the businesses grow, as businesses get bigger and more complex, they need, they need much more sophisticated technology. Um, in fact, even in the last three, four years of recession, um, our business has been doing very well on the back of um, projects that people have started as a way of consolidating multiple businesses into one, um, cutting costs, um, you know, being more efficient, um, so it's, it's definitely a trend that we think is going to continue over the next, um, over the next couple of years at least. And another trend that I can see um, as well that the, the industry should be considering um, is the um, possible entry of other suppliers um, coming in with new technology, but not just new technology, but with a fresh approach. Um, you know, travel has always been sold in a certain way, in a relatively simple way as well. Um, some, there, are, there have been retailers that in other businesses have completely reshaped the way certain goods and certain products are, are sold. I mean, look at Amazon, what Amazon did for the uh, uh, book industry. Um, you know, it's possible uh, or is conceivable that um, some of these companies might decide to come into travel and uh, use their technology, but maybe um, come with a different business model and look at it in a, in a different way. Uh, certainly, the travel per se is a multi-billion dollar industry, uh, and as such, it always attracts um, the interest of, of big corporations. I mean, look at, you know, if you look at Google, for example, and you look at some of their results, a lot of the revenue comes from, from travel. Uh, advertising a lot comes from travel. So um, it is actually a big, um, a big business, uh, and as big business is, is likely to attract uh, big companies. Um, so the, the existing players should try to reinvent themselves um, in order to make it a little bit more difficult for these companies to potentially think, oh, travel is easy, let me come in and, um, and take, uh, take over part of that. The challenges that, that I see um, towards the wider industry um, are um, challenges of inertia uh, in the sense that um, Travel is very attractive to many um, sectors of, um, of, of business. Uh, and what I mean by that is there are many companies that at the moment are not directly into travel or not considered to be directly into travel that always kept an eye on what is happening in travel. Um, um, Google, Apple, uh, you know, just to mention a few, the supermarkets. Um, and I think, I think the challenge um, that a lot of people in the travel industry have to really be careful about is that um, for one, you know, one of these big um, companies that have um, the technology, um, the purse uh, to actually come in and, and try to take over, um, it, it is a real challenge. You know, we do have uh, obviously very large businesses in this market um, <clears throat> that can probably face up to this, uh, but there is still a very, very large share of the market that is um, left to the kind of small and medium uh, enterprise. So I, th I think one of the challenges, as it overall, is, is definitely going to be, um, you know, is there going to be at some point soon 
a, an outsider that with different technology and look at it from a different angle maybe, it will come into the market to um, claim a, a share of, of the business. And, and if somebody new coming in claims a share of the business, somebody else will have to give it up. So that's, that's definitely one, um, one challenge. Um, the other challenge, if I look at it from a distribution perspective, is um, the distributors are, are definitely um, coming under pressure actually from the supplier. Um, the internet has taught everybody that you can cut out the middleman. So um, the challenge of the distribution side is to continue to be relevant, to continue to be uh, innovative, to continue to capture the customer. Otherwise, uh, the suppliers are there just waiting to be able to sell direct. So that's another angle and another um, consideration that the travel distribution industry um, has to um, always consider that they have to um, be very careful uh, if they drop the ball suppliers will come in and, um, and distribute the product directly. One, one of the achievements, one of personal achievement is was, I'll always remember, the very first day that the first customer actually started to use a software and I just could not believe that what, what was born as a a drawing on the back of an A4, it was actually running somebody's business. So that 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 was definitely um, an, an, an achievement. Uh, more recently is uh, when we implemented a very first large uh, tour operator wholesale um, customer. Um, we uh, we went live recently with with a company that is using our software with over 2,000 of their users. Um, so uh, being able to implement something with over 2,000 users in a market where we said four years ago, look, we're coming, we're coming into that market. Uh, we want to become a big player there and be able to um, not only sign up the customers, but also deliver on a promise. Um, that, that was a very big, um, very big achievement um, for us as, as a business. Um, to, um, to deliver on that four-year uh, plan. For those starting in the travel technology space, um, I would say whatever budget you come out with, um, triple it before you actually get into business. Any timeline that you put together that you think is going to take you that long, quadruple it. Uh, unfortunately, especially now, it's actually much more difficult um, to enter the business. Um, I was lucky in a certain way, 15 years ago, the, the, the technology was changing, there were a few big changes going on. Um, I got in relatively easily. Uh, today is a lot more difficult. Um, however, this is if you want to start the business. Um, travel technology, I actually think, is an extremely exciting space to be. Um, you know, there's always new technology coming in, you know, now is mobile. Uh, there was going to be something else uh, in, a, in the next couple of years. So it's definitely a sector that, in my opinion, gives a lot of um, satisfaction and, and can be very, very interesting. And if, if you get to the top of your game, you can actually um, always deal with very exciting initiatives and exciting technology. So it's, it's definitely something that I would recommend um, to, um, to somebody that wants to uh, enter the travel business um, but keep it, in my opinion, a little bit more exciting and interesting. When it comes to destinations, uh, a recent destination that I've been to that I absolutely loved uh, was Oman. Um, I had a fantastic um, holiday uh, in Oman. It was our last big holiday um, before my son arrived. And um, as far as the past, for the, uh, in the past, uh, Costa Rica was another place that I absolutely um, adore then I would love to actually to go back it's been a while since I went there um, I had a fantastic holiday and I would love to go back and see uh, now this is about 10 years I you know how that uh, how that has changed